EcoStar is at the cutting edge of environmentally conscious packaging materials. We are committed to recycling PET by reclaiming plastic bottles and plastic thermoforms, turning them back into consumer packaging and keeping them out of our landfills. We believe in uh, conserving resources. And in a world of scarce resources, anytime you can use something over again, you're preserving that molecule and using it at its highest and best value. So I think everyone benefits from that. Inside the EcoStar facility, there are more than 70,000 square feet of space dedicated to recycling and extrusion. Our recycling facility washes and grinds bottles and thermoforms into flake. That includes utility flake and LNO, letter of non-object, for food packaging. The flake can be sold to other companies or used in our own plastic roll stock extrusion lines. Well, our vision for EcoStar is, is to completely close the loop. In other words, have our packages used and consumed, collected, and then reused again. At capacity, EcoStar can process about 36 million pounds of baled bottles and thermoforms per year. Here's how our state-of-the-art facility works. It starts in the bale feeding pit, where compressed bales of plastic bottles from curbsides and recycling centers are loaded onto an in-feed conveyor. The conveyor can store about 10 bales and meters the bottles into a bale breaker. The breaker reduces them to individual free-flowing bottles. The bale breaker conveyors store and meter meter the bottles downstream to the pre-wash. In the pre-washing station, dirty bottles go through a large tumbler where steam and a detergent solution remove labels and dirt from the outside of the bottles. Water and detergents are continuously reused throughout the cleaning cycle. The liquid solution for pre-washing actually comes from a washing and rinsing cycle that occurs later down the line. The bottles are only partially submerged in the solution so they don't fill with water. This is important because the exterior of the bottles are where most of the contaminants exist. By removing any glass, sand, labels, and most of the glue, it helps minimize wear on higher speed machinery downstream. When the bottles come out of the pre-washing station, they look completely different. They now pass through the automatic bottle sorting system. This system operates much more efficiently because the dirt and labels have already been removed from the bottles. At this point, non-PET bottles are sorted out by near-infrared technology. The system also uses an optical camera to sort out the colored bottles. Once they leave the automatic bottle sorting system, operators manually remove any final contaminants that might remain in the stream of good PET bottles. Now they are ready to be ground into flake. To do this, the EcoStar system uses a wet granulator. The advantages of a wet granulator include inexpensive washing and scrubbing, pulping of paper and removal of the largest remaining contaminant, liquid. The flake coming out of the granulator passes through a centrifuge, or high-speed tumbler where the water along with the paper pulp and washed liquids is separated. Then the flake is conveyed to a silo and eventually reaction tanks for hot washing. A carefully measured amount of flake is mixed with hot water and detergents to remove dirt and glue. From here, the flake is basically tumble-dried, rinsed and conveyed to a separation tank. In the tank, bottle caps and rings are separated from the PET flake. The PET flakes sink while the caps and rings float to the top where they are skimmed off. Then the flakes are rinsed one final time. The flakes are dried by a mechanical process and then hot air to help conserve energy. The next step is to send it through a metal removal machine where both ferrous and non-ferrous materials are separated from the flake. At this point, we may decide to send some of the PET flakes through special decontamination equipment to convert the flakes into food grade material. We're taking the plastic and putting it through a, what we call a super cleaner. And that allows us to remove any of the volatiles and to use 100% post-consumer material in food contact. So it's really kind of special and, and not a lot of people do that. Finally, the PET flakes are transferred through a mixing silo. Mixing the flakes reduces possible contaminant concentration. Then, the flakes are moved to any lutriator, which removes small particles and dust-like material called fines from the PET. 
After that, the flakes are stored in super sacks. Recycled raw material is ready for extrusion into virgin quality roll stock with high recycled content. That's 100% post-consumer roll stock for retail and food packaging. If you compare uh, virgin raw materials to recycled raw materials, it uses about half as much carbon. So it's a significant reduction in the carbon uh, necessary to produce packaging and uh, that's a pretty big reduction. Reducing waste in landfills, meeting new market demands, providing recycled roll stock. It's not just the right thing to do, it's what we do best. EcoStar, recycle, replastic, results.